So we're here, I've made it to uh, Petersville Rugby Club uh, for the Solomon Serpent Trail 50k. But I've had a bit of a mare. Um, I put my Garmin watch on last night to charge. I was in a rush this morning and left it home. I'm 45 minutes from home, the bus leaves in half an hour. So I'm gonna have to try and use my phone to track the run. I won't be able to pace myself. It's gonna be tough, I've made it tough for myself. But we're here, I'm here to run a 50k. I'm gonna go and register and then I'm gonna catch the bus. See you in a minute. I'm not gonna lie to you, my head's gone now that I've forgot the Garmin. I can't believe I've done that. So we're gonna have to run it on feel. We're gonna have to run it on feel, which I didn't want to do because I wanted to pace myself. And I know on feel I'll be going faster than I uh, would hoped. So I'm off to the bus. The bus is going to take us to the start and then we're starting at 10 a.m. So I'll check in with you then. See you in a bit. So we've made it to the start. I feel a little bit better about um, forgetting my Garmin now. I'm going to try and use my phone. If the battery doesn't last. I've got a little zapper, which I've got a zap at every zap point, every uh, checkpoint. So I'll get a time. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Everyone's going for a wee in the bushes. It's a really secluded spot. Um, so we're around near Petworth um, and we're running back to the Petersville Rugby Club. 50k, 31 miles. Um, I'll check in with you early doors, but I don't know. It's messing with my head, this Garmin thing. Anyway, see you in a bit, bye bye. Okay, I think we're about two and a half miles in. Very steady, I'm going very steady, taking it very easy. Been a few hills already. Uh, I guess I'm about middle of the pack, but keeping it steady, not too fast. I'm very, very aware of it. But I think it's about two and a half miles. Phone's in here. It looks like from the first few miles, it's gonna last the race, so fingers crossed. And it's raining. Which is perfect. See you in a bit. Okay, I've just left the first aid station, about eight and a half miles, in about an hour and 25. So, a bit faster than I'd like, but I haven't got my watch to keep me continually on pace. Looks like the phone's gonna make it battery-wise, so I'll be able to track the run, which is great. Other than that, I'm feeling really good. I don't wanna jinx it. It's still quite early days, but beautiful course. But it's very much like what I've run before, South Downs Way and stuff like that. So, and the elevation so far hasn't been too bad. I'll check in at the next day station, but at the moment, things are good. 
sí, sí. Okay, so we just passed the half marathon point in about two hours 11, I think, which is pretty much bang on 10 minute miles. So possibly a bit quick. But we're doing all right. Thank you. Still feeling okay. 18 miles to go uh, and the legs are still okay. I'm waiting for that point where they start to hurt but it hasn't come yet. Maybe that week long rest is good for me after all. But I'll do the same nice and slow on the downhills and the flats and walking the uphills. I'm just going to do that the whole race. I think that's going to get me there in a relatively good time. We'll see how it goes, but we're doing all right. Oh, nothing else to report, so I'll catch you at the next checkpoint. See you then. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Either one. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. I've just passed the second aid station. I'm at 15 and a half miles. So I'm officially halfway through. Everything's okay. I've got a little bit of a bad back which doesn't normally happen uh, but I've got some aspirin on me so if it's still bad at the next checkpoint oh, I'll take some aspirin not really sure why that is but hey ho have myself some jelly babies at the checkpoint back on the way you know if I was doing a 15 mile run and I finished it feeling like this I'll be very happy don't want to jinx it though. See you all in a bit. Okay, so we're at about 20 miles in three hours, 20 minutes. And I am feeling tired now, but I've done 20 miles. And to be honest, I'd normally be feeling this sort of pain or this sort of tiredness after about 15. So. I've got to be pleased with that. It's just walking up a big hill at the moment. Conserve some energy and then we'll crack on. It shouldn't be too long to the next aid station. Maybe a mile or two. After that, it'll be the marathon point, final aid station, and then home to finish. Got to, got to admit, I was not keen this morning for getting my Garmin, really messed my head up. 
but as soon as I realised that my phone was going to last the distance, I felt a lot better. Oh, right, I'm going to get to the top of this hill. I'll see you after the next aid station. Okay, just gone past the third checkpoint, almost at 22 miles. Stocked up on water there. Oh, definitely tired now, but less than 10 to go. And the next checkpoint's in four miles, so I'll see you then. Okay, just past the last checkpoint. Coming up to marathon distance in about four and a half hours. Oh, tough. I think I've got about five and a half, six miles left. So, we're almost there. Well, they did say it's road all the way back, so should be a bit nicer on the legs. Oh, I am done. I think I'm gonna make it though, so, but this last five or six miles will not be fast. I'll catch up close to the end, cheers. Oh, we're almost there. I don't know how I got here. I've been running on empty for the last four miles. My phone says I've done 50k ages ago, but it might not be accurate. Ah. Ah. Almost there, come on. Ah, come on, I can hear them. I'm absolutely spent. Ah. Just wanted to finish. Feels like it's never going to come. Ah, uh, come on. Almost there. Ah. Ah. Here we go. I can see it. Hey, how are we doing? So, you should have just seen me cross the line at the Serpent Trail 50k ultra marathon. I did it, I finished. But I was so tired and so not with it after the race that I completely forgot to record anything else. I had straight for some water, straight for some food. Uh, amazingly, my wife and kids surprised me just before the finish, they were there with a sign. It was really nice for them to come down. Uh, so I sat with them for a bit as well. Completely forgot to record. So we're now three days later. I'm having my first run since that 50K. And uh, it's a nice easy six miles. Just to uh, turn the legs over, five or six miles. So I thought I'd do a little debrief. 
Now, so overall, I'm actually really pleased in how the race went. Yes, the last four miles were very difficult. Yes, I forgot my Garmin, which made it psychologically difficult for me from the start. But overall, I'm very happy. I finished in 149th place out of 302 finishers. So middle of the pack, I'm very happy with that. Consider it was my first ever 50K race and only my second ever 50K distance. So very pleased with that. Um, one of the problems with recording it on my phone is I think they got the distance quite wrong because it was 31, just over 31 miles officially. And my phone recorded 32 and a half. So when I was at, for example, the last major aid station, and I thought it was only four and a half miles to go, they told me it was six. So again, psychologically, that hurt because I thought I was closer to the end than I was. <laughs> I, I walked the majority of mile 29, or what I thought was mile 30, and somehow I found enough energy to run the last two miles. I didn't know how, but I did it. That's the important thing, and we move on. Learned a lot of lessons from that. Got over some major hurdles with the, the Garmin and everything like that. So we move on. Next up is the QE Midnight Marathon at Queen Elizabeth Country Park. It's on the 25th, I think, or the 24th of July. So we're only a few weeks out from that. Should be a fun one. It's <laughs> so obviously no long run this week. Uh, the most I'll be doing is eight miles on Sunday. But next week, I'll be doing a 15 mile long run. So I think what we'll do is we'll go on a recce of the first half of the Midnight Marathon route on the South Downs Way. <laughs> So we'll do that, 15 miles, <laughs> and then we'll be prepping for the Midnight Marathon. It's all coming thick and fast. So thank you very much for watching. 50K done. I guess now the big countdown is the half marathon to Sarba. Just over a year to go. And we've got some massive races coming up between now and then. I'm going a bit fast, so I'll walk for a bit. We've got the Midnight Marathon. And then in September, we've got the Andover Trail Marathon. October, we've got the Clarendon Marathon. December, we've got the Endurance Life Marathon in Dorset. Last race of the year will be the Portsmouth Coastal Marathon. And then we move on to 2022 and some really big multi-stage races before the half marathon de Sabre. So, I'll leave you now. Thanks very much for watching. We did it. I'll see you next week on the South Downs Way. Bye-bye.